Hello, and welcome to the five minute university topic on advanced active learning strategies. This presentation is brought to you by Jenny Van Amberg from Northeastern University, Bouvet College of Health Sciences School of Pharmacy. As you learn during the five minute faculty development session on encouraging classroom participation, active learning can be created to promote development of a student's critical thinking skills and problem solving skills. These more advanced engaged activities require additional planning by the instructor, and some examples include case-based learning, team-based learning, and problem-based learning. Students continue to fail in their ability to demonstrate complex thinking because their educational experiences have provided little support for development of these skills. Multiple teaching styles exist to encourage students to apply thinking skills to open-ended problems, utilizing multiple points of view. Let's further explore a few types of teaching strategies that can foster the development of more advanced skills like critical thinking and problem solving. Case-based learning or scenario-based story helps students develop a deeper understanding of the material. The instructor is responsible for creating a complex or engaging scenario which parallels the concepts of the lesson. Students will use critical thinking skills to dissect the scenario while communicating or collaborating as a group. Using this technique, students are presented with real-life scenarios that are multifaceted, and it places more emphasis on putting the acquired knowledge into practice in the clinical setting. Though these are, these are often clinical scenarios, these cases can be used in basic science courses to portray foundational knowledge that is applicable to clinical practice, adding relevance to the material. Team-based learning, also called TBL, utilizes student-to-student -student interaction in small teams to develop critical, practical, and creative thinking skills. Students assume the role of being inquirers, and as such, faculty burnout is decreased with increased student responsibility and student engagement. There are key characteristics of a TBL structure, and these include the creation of heterogeneous teams, student teams to be created in a deliberate manner, and are the same members for the duration of the course, a readiness assurance process to ensure content knowledge with the completion of an independent and team quiz. Finally, small team activities are to be completed during the class that are application-based. TBL moves the content out of the classroom to pre-class work and the application of the learn material into class time. The team-based learning module is especially appropriate in larger classes by allowing the class to function as multiple smaller classes. Problem-based learning, or PBL, is an approach where student learning is facilitated by the instructor presented problem. Students will work through this carefully constructed, open-ended problem by engaging and applying new knowledge. The success is dependent on several factors. The problem should allow free inquiry, collaboration is encouraged and essential, feedback is in the form of reflection on their learning, and should be provided. The premise of PBL resides in the students to apply previous knowledge to new situations. Instructors must adapt the role of facilitators of learning, guiding their process and prompting further inquiry versus providing the correct answer or answers. These three advanced active learning strategies involve increased planning on behalf of the instructor. However, within the course itself, students are empowered to guide their own learning. These learning processes allow for increased opportunities for successful student-teacher interaction. In summary, the use of more advanced teaching methodologies will allow the student to be the inquirer and further develop his or her critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Be strategic and purposeful when creating and exploring the advanced learning and teaching model. It needs to fit the structure and purpose of the course, just as you would for any other active learning strategy. You also need to be mindful that these more advanced methodologies require more planning and offer less control in the classroom to the instructor. Heterogeneous groups should be created with a structure in place to allow each team to function independently. That about concludes our time. For more information about this topic, please see the resource handout and the supplement materials provided to you.